I recently got this Tractor Supply 5x8 trailer for $999 and it's been a great use to expand my business. However, I'm a young man and I don't want to have to buy a boat trailer for my tiny boat. I would like to have kind of a two-in-one. So I'm going to turn this into a makeshift boat trailer. And the first thing you do is just simply remove the gate. Now in the first shot, you might have saw that the two inch drop hitch was not enough. So I had to double it and go to four. But making sure the trailer is level is something that you should do regardless if you have a boat on it or not. So of course, when I removed the gate, I had to put it on the actual license plate mounts, which I didn't do before because, well, they didn't exactly fit. I had to kind of bore a little hole, uh, but it ended up being a pretty easy thing to take off and really set up. So if you're like me and you don't want to have to buy another trailer, just another expense and something else to take care of, then this is how I'm going to kind of turn my tractor supply trailer into a usable boat trailer. Now stay tuned because we have footage of me completely loading it, unloading it, backing it, pulling it out the whole nine yards. Uh, but my first mission is to figure out which direction I wanted to put the boat. Now, obviously you always want to put it bow first because that's how boats are supposed to be. Uh, but I wasn't sure since it extends off the back of it and the rear is so heavy if it would balance. Uh, and now this is me realizing, hey, this is going to be on a trailer. It's going to get a lot more wind. So I'm trying to figure out how to hold some of my mods down, uh, which we will take care of a little bit. But my thought process is, is just put the chairs down. It'll hold everything in there. Now, I wasn't sure since most boat trailers have a winch how I was going to keep it attached to the front of a trailer. And I tried to come up with some overthought up process and it ended up just being really stupid. Uh, so what I ended up doing is just running some ratchet straps through the stern handles. And then I did the same on the bow. Now you can see that there is a middle yellow strap in the middle and that's kind of overkill. You'll see later that I didn't actually add that strap when I came home from the lake that we're about to go to. So there's many ways that you can fasten it down to the boat, but my little plastic boat only weighs about 130 pounds. Uh, so it's super light. You can just fasten it right down. Now I always do this thing where I just fold it up and kind of tie it around and pull it through and it keeps the straps from falling around on the highway and you just slip it up and it undoes itself. So I decided I didn't want to just raw dog the foam sitting back there and I didn't like the idea of the boat seat sitting upside down because obviously the trailer has no suspension like the truck. So I didn't want the seats to go flying 60 miles an hour through someone's windshield. That would put a damper on my boating day. So I figured I might as well just kind of come up with something that's somewhat clever. Uh, these adhesive double-sided strips didn't stick to the foam at all, no surprise. So I decided to just spray a bunch of adhesive and call it a day. All right, so the first thing I noticed when pulling this is you don't see it. With the gate removed, you don't see it. And I live in an apartment complex, so when I was backing out, I had no real point of reference on where it is. And where we're at, it, I mean, we live in Florida, so Panama City, there's unlimited boat ramps. There's, I'm looking at a boat ramp and then if I were to squat, I'd probably see another one. So I picked the most narrow ramp out of all of them. The other one are wide open. This is super narrow because I want to put to the test to see if this is really reasonable. And I do want to say one thing before I forget. Don't dip this in the water. The lights aren't waterproof. This is not a boat trailer. Uh, and I live where everything is salt. So just pull up as close as you can to the water and leave yourself a little bit of wiggle room so you can pull it off, but you don't need to, do, please. I've seen people do this with John boats. They will literally dip it in like it's a proper boat trailer and they have the wood flooring or the metal floor. Like don't do that. Even if it's fresh water, this is easy enough. So I'm going to have my wife record. She's just going to record the entire setup process. So we know, you know, kind of what it's like transferring from there to there and getting into the water and how long does it really take. So at a traditional boat ramp, you would, you know, pull into your lane and you would get your boat ready. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to get my boat ready. So that way we're not, you know, on the ramp disturbing people, even though nobody's here. It's Florida. There's a thousand. They're all empty. <laughs> So once 
once I've actually got it loaded and we're back again, I'm gonna drop the gate, roll the, the, the bed cover back, and with my seats in the fishing pools, then you'll actually be able to tell where you're at. So the visibility problem when it comes to backing down into a narrow ramp, hopefully will be gone. Oh God, fuck. What did you do? Hit that sharp corner. A lot of this stuff could actually probably be kept in your trailer. You could keep the motor on if you want. You could keep the battery on. And I drove to the apartment from storage with the seats on, but why not? Might as well throw them in and be safe. There's a lot of good, great, cheap trailer options. But if you're like me, you don't want to spend more money on a boat trailer. Just another thing you have to deal with. This trailer, a lot of folks already have, and it'll be good enough. All right. Everything's good to go. I haven't connected the battery yet, but we'll do that here in a second. So if you'll stay here, I'm going to try to back in. And we'll see how easy this thing is to back in. We'll test my theory. Thank you to EmpireDigest.com. They help regular people build and grow thriving online businesses so they can live their best life possible. They are part of an elite community of highly successful internet entrepreneurs on a mission to help regular everyday people break free from mediocrity and create the best life possible. Sounds similar to this channel. They're doing this by helping you start and grow highly successful location independent online businesses that provide unlimited income potential and time freedom and the ability to turn your dreams into reality faster than anything else that you've tried. Take advantage right now by clicking the first link in my description. speed manual transmission so it was a lot easier to back the trailer down because a lot of these bigger proper boat ramps this is more of a pedal craft boat ramp but you know I'll be down there I'll be my back wheels will be on the water's edge and I'm having to slam the clutch and do all that this will make it way easier before by myself I would have to lift it out drag it in and try not to get wet but this looks like it's going to be way easier. Basically no effort. Perfect. Sell up on the bank. Yeah, that was way easier. So we're gonna go park, we're gonna boat, we're gonna film a different video. So if you wanna see the video of us actually going out right now, we're gonna go into a brand new spot, try to fish. I will continue this video when we pull back up, when I back it back down and I reload it because well, that's half of the deal. So I'm gonna park, we're gonna go fish, stay tuned for that video and I'll see you whenever we load it up. All right, we are coming back in to load up our boat in our makeshift tractor supply trailer. We caught no fish, but you should still watch that video. 
do me a favor because nobody else will. Anyway, she didn't feel me backing down. That's kind of the whole point. But with the bed cover and the tailgate up, you really just have your side mirrors to tell where you're going without that back gate giving you an indicator. I didn't have a problem going just from here straight down here. Actually lined up pretty dang good. is solid i definitely don't need to do another one towards the stern that's for sure this thing is here to stay what does the timer say on the phone 5 20. five minutes and that's with talking so not too bad this thing has made this trip much easier for me uh it's it's just all together way easier less stressful I have, you know, a place where I can keep all my stuff that goes in the boat, but then I have the boat. So it's just easy to put together at the boat ramp. Yeah, I like it. 